Coronet Films, we have the shortest title cards in the business. Am I trustworthy? The Mitt Romney story. Elizabeth B. Carey, now serving a nickel at the state pen for selling test answers. And now, modeling our mini babushka line is Janine, who's a vision of loveliness. And for dinner, we had a whole potato! Lucky! Did you ever feel as if you've been left out? I review comic books. What do you That's think? That's when it really hurts. When no one understands that you'd do a good job if you had a chance, and that you'd make good. You feel pretty low when you've been left out. That's the way it was with Eddie Johnson. And this is his story. A story about the importance of trustworthiness. Hey, that's not your house! Am I Trustworthy is filmed before a live studio audience. Eddie uses his impressive crest to attract mates. It doesn't work, but he uses it. Well, hi, Eddie. Hello, oh, Dad. What are you doing? Well, you're kind of late, and Mother was counting on you fixing this lamp. So I thought I'd better do it and have it ready. Is anything wrong, son? No. Except I'm all screwed up inside. Come on, you can trust me with your troubles, can't you, Eddie? Heck no, you blackmailed me. Why does everybody keep talking about trusting people? They elected Bob, the treasurer of our club, because he was trustworthy. And me? Vice President. They put me on the cleanup committee. I wouldn't have stolen their money. Well, not too much. What's all this about being trustworthy? Wait a minute, wait a minute. It can't be that bad. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me what happened. Well... Well, the Dalton boys and I set out to rob a stagecoach at dawn. I've been in our hobby club for about three years now. And I wanted to be treasurer. I should have been, too. But at our meeting today... Ross Perot accepted the nomination. And this is Eddie Johnson's story. The story of a boy who had his heart set on being treasurer of his club. It's a dull story, admittedly. Of course, there wasn't any real reason for Eddie to be elected. But, like most of us, he just hoped. He hoped someone would nominate him. But whose name do you think they thought of first? Seymour Butts? Bob West, one of Eddie's best friends. And known to have mob ties. Jim Small was nominated, too. No surprise there, his family owns this town. And Mary Burns. Page in Dr. West, Dr. Small, Dr. Burns. But Eddie? Well, no one even thought to mention Eddie. And you can't nominate yourself, even when you want the job. So before Eddie knew it, the nominations were closed. Just like the hearts of his fellow man. And when the voting was over, Bob had won. Oh, whoopee. They said he was elected because he was so trustworthy. Why should they think of Bob as trustworthy and not Eddie? Hey, you missed a spot. Well, I'm not going to do any work in the cleanup committee. Why should they say he's trustworthy, Dad? What's being trustworthy got to do with being a treasurer? Well, oh, Eddie, a treasurer certainly must be trustworthy. Or bonded by the state. But being trustworthy is pretty important to all of us in almost everything we do. If you think of the things you do every day, I'm sure you'll see the important part that trustworthiness plays in... We're caught in the gravitational of pull of Dad's forehead! Take school, for example. We all depend on teachers to fulfill their trust to the parents and all the boys and girls to do a good job of teaching, just as all the boys and girls must keep trust with their teachers to prepare their lessons every day. That's how trustworthiness is important at school. In Japan, anyway. And what about trustworthiness with your friends? You're willing to lend something when you can trust a friend to return it. And your friend... My, my pen! You my pen! Take good care of the things you buy. Well, you'll never see that pen again. Being trustworthy with your friends is mighty important. And how about trustworthiness with the different groups of people you meet all around you? You trust the man in the store to sell you fresh things of good quality and to deal with everyone honestly and fairly. That helps us all to live together well, doesn't it? Here's your cocaine. So... Trustworthiness with groups is important, too. Please ignore this scene from an unrelated documentary. Even in the home, trustworthiness makes it easier to get along. But I've never taken anything that I shouldn't have or robbed anyone. I'm trustworthy. Well... Did embezzle Grandma's pension, son. I've always noticed that people have to show they can be trusted with little things. 
before they can be trusted with big things. Just like, well, doing what you say you will. Yeah, real subtle, Dad. Like fixing the lamp, for instance? Yes, fixing a lamp, for instance. You know, Dad, come to think of it, Bob is a good choice for treasurer. I can see where he has proved his trustworthiness. Dad, we need a new light bulb. I'm not made of money. Just remembering. Just remembering. Remembering that Bob shows he can be trusted to do little things. You can always be sure, for example, that when he says he'll prepare a class report, he'll stick to it and do a good job, even when it might be more fun to do something else. Like attend a fraternity initiation. That's not a very big thing. But it has helped make Bob known for being trustworthy. If not a flake. At the charge-out desk, Bob helps out at regular times. And he always remembers to be on the job when he's supposed to. To kill time, Bob messes up being the card catalog. Time may seem a little thing, too. Remember those kids? But it's another important way to show that you're trustworthy. And everybody knows that Bob has had experience handling money and keeping accounts. People are willing to trust someone who has proved he can do the job. Where's Waldo? Banned. Yes, all these little things have given Bob a reputation for always keeping whatever trust he accepts. The school library announced a significant financial shortage today. People do trust Bob. He deserved to be treasurer, all right. Plus, he knows math. But how can I learn to be trustworthy, too? Well, by showing that he could be trusted in little things, Bob was trusted in big things, too. Perhaps that's the way. That's what I'm going to do. I guess being trustworthy is pretty important. And I'm taking that job on the cleanup committee. Don't! It's a live wire! <laughs> yeah. You know, son, another way to be trustworthy is... I ain't fixing no more lamps, old man! You know, I have a lot of trusts already. More like marks or chumps. Most of them little. But I never thought of them as trust before. Trust at school? At home? And I'm going to make sure I keep them. Yeah, unlike the trusted editor, apparently. Being trustworthy includes a lot. From now on, Eddie is going to keep trust by getting to school on time. And he's going to prepare his lessons every day. Those are good ways to be trustworthy at school, aren't they? Nerd! And think of the trust you have at home. Eddie is going to do a good job when he says he'll help with the work around the house. And he'll make sure to take good care of all the things he's responsible for. By vacuuming the books? That's the way to be trustworthy at home, isn't it? How about being trustworthy with friends? Well, after this, when Eddie wants to borrow something from friends, he's going to be certain they know he'll return it. I shall return and it to you within the fortnight, good sir. That's one way to be trustworthy with your friends. And what about groups? I don't trust them. Well, Eddie has a trust with the hobby club to do his job. But sometimes cleaning up is much fun. Why not play darts instead? You'll put someone's eye out. No one around, no one would know the difference. The cleaning could be done later. But what was that dad said? Nothing? Okay. People have to show they can be trusted with little things if they want to be trusted with big ones. You want to play darts or what? That's right. From now on, Eddie can be counted on to keep his trust with groups. That's the way a good group keeps going. Each member must keep trust. I hit two bullseyes. I'm pretty much the best dart player ever. Okay, first we hit these trusts. Then if there's time, we knock over the savings and loan. And then finally we hit George Bailey's business. Old man Potter's gonna own this town. Kid, it should not take you this long to read that page. What a dud. Hi, Dad. Hi, Eddie. What do you got there? A chart on trustworthiness. With all the things we talked about on it, I've been finding out how important trustworthiness really is. And you know, Dad, you can find it everywhere. Son, let's talk about trustworthy barbers. The things you do and... And look, Dad... Cut, cut! We, we don't have enough money to do another Here's take? What you have oh, to okay, do. keep going, keep going. To be trustworthy, keep your word, play fair... Eddie, your dad told you that, this story, remember? Be on time. That sounds very good, Eddie. And you know, Dad, it really works. I've been offered the job at the library desk in our club room. That's the job Bob had before he became treasurer. Eddie, did you snip off the end of my tie? Yes. Well, that's how Eddie Johnson learned something about trustworthiness. And what about you? 
Do you always keep your trust? Remember, when you show you're trustworthy in little things, you'll be trusted with big things. And that's the way gain a reputation for being trustworthy. Eddie would go on to lose the election for treasurer twice more. When confronted about the elections, the student body admitted Eddie's hair was creeping them out. Hello? I must be going. I cannot say I came to say I must be going. I'm glad I came, but just the same, I must be going. La la!